welcome back to another video. Let's get started. First one, it's gonna be this Lowe's bait casting reel. It's a speed spool MB um, series, tournament series. I can't even see the letters on this anymore. It's so old. It's been surfaced. It is still going strong. This is when I usually should use it for my jerk baits or anything around that weight class. Also for light looks. Um, but yeah. Oh, 
robins and excuse the background noise that's my fridge but yes a small space in my house but it works and honestly I'm happy with this rod this one I throw my ass waiver on it like, you know, bull sheds, uh, 68s, any, anything pretty much that's around that weight class. If you are on a budget and you don't have a rod for every specific thing and you want something like, well, kind of like a do-it-all starter rod, that's not a bad, op a bad option. You know, on this one I like it because you can go really slow for your soft baits. You want to go faster just go faster that's all real faster but let me show you this next one this one i actually this my tracks 400 i have it paired up with a hot tech handle 400 hg later on i want to get myself a lower gear but for now this will do like I say, just real slower if you need something slower. But, but yeah, it's a Hawk Tech Handles, which I painted myself. I, I want them all black now, so I should be redoing them pretty soon. And, as you can see, the profiles on the reels are completely different around round reel with a low with a low profile. This is a pretty big reel. But you know, I like to toss my bigger baits on this. Like an eight inch bunker, the three sixteens, my depth's two fifty. Like the heavier swim baits come to this reel. And the rod that I have it paired up with you're gonna see in a minute and like I said earlier this is gonna be a very short video just because I don't have a lot of gear I usually use the same stuff all the time same baits same gear I take like two three rods and pretty much everything I have to almost now I'm cutting it to two rods take the jerk bait and this one with the tracks which I have the original handle with some Gomex's um, knobs which I do like I haven't had any issues with them but yeah but I also want to switch it up later on just to have different handles here and there but I really like I love I just can't take it off of my reel. I love the feel. Everything about Hawk Tech handles is, is amazing. And trust me, you don't really need handles like that sometimes, as, you know, as long as the reel's working. But if you can, if your budget allows it, upgrade and you will feel the difference. Now, it's not needed, but there's a difference. And it just feels, you know, you just have more grip. It feels good on the hand. Now, let me show you what um, rod I have it paired up. But before that, I'm going to show you this ugly stick. First, first rod I ever bought. This is the rod that started everything, but I'm never gonna sell it. I'm never gonna throw it away or give it away since it was my first rod. I'm never gonna sell it or throw it away since it was my first rod. This is the rod. 
spot that started it off. Thanks to this ride, my wife gets mad at me for not buying new jeans or new pants, new clothes. She says I'm always wearing the same thing. But you know what? Who doesn't want to buy swim baits? I'd rather buy swim baits than a pair of jeans. If I wear, if I have to wear two jeans a week, I'll do it. You know, I have shorts. I have everything to to go buy the whole week. Even though I wear the same thing every week, but nobody really sees me a lot like that. It's just you know, work house, the work home, work home, work home. And of course, there's a uniform, so I don't really need new clothes. But yes. This is actually a phoenix. This is a black diamond. I, I had this uh, rod custom made for me. As you can see the specs. If you want to google it. PSW 909 HC 20 to 50. Online. For the line that's you know needed for this. Anywhere from 20 pound to 50 pound. But, yes, this is the one, this is the rod that I use most of the time. If I have a rod that I'm using more than anything, it's this one and the jerk bait one. You can see from the handles that, you know, I don't have any wraps on it. I do like them, but with time, I feel like they get, um, I feel like they get, um, they lose grip. There you go. That's what, that's what I wanted to say. They pretty much lose grip. So I got this one. And I feel like the grip doesn't go away as much as when you have the wraps on them. But, you know, it just depends what kind of wrap and who's making it. But I love my rod. Honestly, for me right now, Phoenix is my favorite types of rods. The Phoenix rods, I highly recommend. You can throw a HUD on a Phoenix M1. You can feel that tail when it's paddling through the water. But yeah, um, I don't have much gear. This is pretty much all I have. Um, I know I should have, you know, the thing is that I don't really use my, my worms anymore. Like my creature baits, all of that. I haven't used it in a while. I just stick to jerk baits or, um, you know, the soft plastic jerk baits, which is like flukes and stuff like that. Soft plastic swim baits. Or if I want to be like in between the water, go to a floating or suspending drag bait, but if I want to get under, I just use a, a soft plastic swim bait. And as you can see, I have my setup for my lower, for my lighter swim baits. And I have a setup for my bigger swim baits, which is the heavier baits right there. Um, hopefully I could get a I actually ordered already a Corrado 300k HG, but right now they are back ordered and I won't be getting one until Feb, around mid, mid Feb, but hopefully they get them sooner. But yes, um, I love this reel, Trans 400, you're good with a Trans 300, but you know what? Um, they say go big or go home. So I was lucky enough to find one on the forums. I picked it up, changed the handle, and honestly, you can't go wrong with the tracks 200, 300, 400, whatever tracks it is. Highly recommend. Magnex 
next Brio that I'm saving for. Hopefully, I can get a uh, Shimano Calcutta Conquest 400. But for now, I don't have a rod for it, so I don't mind not having one right now. So yeah, I hope you guys like the video. It's hard for making it short. But I don't have a lot of this and that. It's just my basic stuff. I don't um, feel like I need to buy something else, but I mean, whatever I use works. Well, happy holidays and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for another video. Coming soon.